Stampers Kim from StampingInPerfection.com. I'm delighted you joined me today. I have a product I want to review and show you a, a, about. This is the Totally Tiffany paper cart. It's her perfect paper cart. And if you ask me the one um, organizing thing that's like my biggest nemesis, it would be paper. In my entire house, it's always paper. So I decided to get this paper cart. My plan was to use it with the extra large pen and ink palace, but I ended up loving that so much on my desk that I won't be using that on the top shelf of this cart. Now this is a nice metal cart. It actually says that it holds a hundred pounds of stuff and um, it's got these bars that go across. Now you don't have to use those bars, but they'll, you'll notice that in that picture, which I'm sorry, I'm wiggling that so much, that actually those bars will separate the top and bottom shelves into three different sections which is kind of nice it holds your your stuff up and it allows you to put you know different things in different slots so that's kind of nice and uh, another thing it's got nice wheels on the bottom that spin 360 degrees so it's very easy to move and turn and they also have little locking um, mechanisms on it so you can actually lock them into place if you need to. Um, if you live in an old house like I do it's not level. It's got a super super nice instructions on the back on how to assemble it. You do have to assemble it. All the tools you need come in the package so you don't need to have any separate tools and um, it goes together pretty quickly. I was surprised. So I, I'm starting out with these two side frames. So these are the two side frames and you'll notice that one side is sort of crooked looking and the other side is straight. So the first step tells me to put a washer on the screw, put the screw through the hole in the side of one of those pieces. There are two holes on each side and then you're going to take these crossbars. There are four crossbars and is that correct? Yes, four crossbars. And you're just going to screw that in. And that uses an Allen wrench, which comes in it. So you're just going to tighten that with an Allen wrench. And then you're going to do that to all of those pieces. So there are um, eight of those that you need to do. Then the next step is to just screw in the, the little caster wheels that come with it. So they just screw in the bottom. And I start screwing this in and realizing I don't want to turn the wheel because I need to turn that nut there. And uh, I hand tighten it a little bit just to get it in there. And then I use the little tiny wrench that comes in there. So it has a little wrench and you just tighten that. So there are four of these wheels. So I'll go ahead and put the other ones in as well. So this is very easy to put together. It's quick and easy. Nothing hard about this. And it's a nice white cart. I like it. And I suppose if you didn't want it to be white, you, it could easily be spray painted with some Rust-Oleum. So I'm going to do the next step. Notice I'm going to put that bent, that bent part in the back. It's supposed to be like that. There are two shelves. There's a smaller shelf that goes on the top and these just slide on. They have little like, um, like, I don't know, rounded edges that just slide over those bars and they are hinged so there's a back and a bottom. So I'm just sliding it in and I'm popping the back over that top bar. Then there are these four things to separate, pardon my arm here, um, to separate the, the um, shelves into the three different parts. And there are two sizes. There are, there's a larger size for the larger bottom shelf and it tells you to put, there's a crooked end, it tells you to put it all the way up to the second crooked part and then just slide the L-shaped part into the bottom. And then the last step is this, there are some little white caps that go on there to hold that in place. I didn't put those on yet because I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to use it for. So here it is loaded up with the stuff I decided I would put on. Essentially the bottom shelf actually has all of my 12 by 12 scrapbook papers, a couple of large tools like my Memory Misty and my Score Pal, and then some big um, pads of different kinds of paper that I like to use, along with a scrapbook kit, that box that you see is a scrapbook kit from Altenew. So that was all pretty, you know, I happily uh, that fit on there with some room to grow. And on the top shelf, this was found space for me. All of the stuff here, 
was either on my desk or it was in a like a paper rack behind me and it was sort of just kind of propped against the wall but you can see I have my guillotine trimmer I have my mini misty and my original misty I have my score buddy I have um, my embossing station which I use these things every time I craft but now they're going to they have a new home on this cart that just moves around beautifully that bin in the middle is all my pre-cut paper stuff I have um, my paper piercing mat from Sizzix. I have my um, cutting board. Those two white pieces in there, I decided to leave them because they kind of hold up my stuff nicely. And I will put the caps on the bottom of those because those are moving around a little until I put the caps on. But I'm really happy that this stuff has actually found a new home and I like the way that th this has turned out. I'm also pretty happy that I have some room to grow here if I want to. Um, but I have promised myself I will not be buying any more 12 by 12 paper until this paper is used up because boy that stuff can build up and you can end up with pieces from like hundreds of different things and this like I said go rolls beautifully it turns beautifully it does a 360 degree spin if you want it to so it's easy to move from one place in your craft room to another or just to slide it over next to you and then push it back to its home wherever it is that you want to keep it. So thank you so much for watching. Step on my blog at stampingimperfection.com. I'll put the links for this below to totallytiffany.com. Make sure you subscribe and give this video a like and click on that bell so you get notices every time I post a video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it.